to our patriotism and desire to keep America the way that it was intended to be. A free nation under God, a Christian nation, a God-fearing nation, a nation where we believe in the nuclear family. That is our strongest weapon. We use this momentum to take our country back. But we have to get as good as they are. They are great at spewing division, at making us look bad, at making the nuclear family a bad thing. It's easier to say that you're a Muslim and get no feedback than to say that you're a Christian because you'll be called, again, racist, a supremacist of some kind. I don't understand it. I don't know what's happening to this country, but I do know this. We have to get as good as they are sticking together. We have to get as good as they are at spreading the word of what really matters to this country. We have to get better at sticking together. We do. There are many channels out there that spew lies, that are constantly attacking white people, constantly dividing this country. You have like the Young Turks, that guy with his mouth going to channels and just destroying this nation. We are not good at speaking together. We are not great at supporting each other. We're just not. We think that taking the moral high ground, it's better. And it isn't. We are letting our children down. Our children, our grandchildren, will have nothing like what you and I experienced just a few years ago. I come from a country that we didn't have even that many channels on TV. But whenever an American show came, boy, we would watch it. It was great even seeing TV movies like Back to the Future and seeing how America was and how people were. It was fantastic. What a great way to live. People didn't hate each other all over the place. You didn't have to watch your back just to go walk your dog outside. It is incredible what you are letting happen to this country, but I will do my part. We have to use this momentum to take our country back. The Democratic Party is doing great, along with the media, to destroy this country along sorrow. It's incredible. This country is being eaten from within and we are doing very little about it. We don't defend those who fight for us, including President Trump. The things that we allow to happen to him is incredible. How we were not loud enough, how we did nothing about these demands. Hopefully you'll come back. But who knows? Very little faith because we don't stick together. We gotta stick together. I ask that you start your own channel, that you start learning facts, that you pass on information to your children, to your neighbors. They don't know enough. MSNBC, CNN, but that is what our children are watching and listening to. Because when conservatives like myself, like you speak, they censor us. They don't do anything about the other side, about the people that are trying to destroy this country from within. This administration is destroying this country, it's a treasonous administration. We need to get more mad. We need to get more upset about what's happening in this country. Let's stick together. I promise I will bring facts on a daily, more than once, as many times as I can, on some kind of fact. Spread that fact. Spread how America is great. It always has been great. Right now, we are a divided country for no reason. Nobody wins in this game other than the Democratic Party looking for power. Because whenever you want to win, whenever you want to take over a party like Biden, every single time you win, it's happening. Why are we so weak? I don't understand. But I promise this, I will do my part. I will bring facts about America not being a racist country. I'll bring facts on how this nation is the better nation than any nation out there because I've been around and I've seen them all. And you know why I know that? Because everybody comes here and never want to leave. And the ones that want to leave, they make their money first. But where do they make it? They make it here and then they want to leave. The greatest nation be proud. We need to bring that pride back to America. We need to stick together. We need to share our videos. We need to like. We need to subscribe to each other. We need to 
come up with a union again that we are losing. So I ask, subscribe, don't donate anything, just pass on the video. Let's not be lazy about it. Let's not assume that all the people will do it from. And the way to do it is this venue, social media. I am in this platform because this is a platform that our children are watching. We need to reach our children. They eat whatever is fed to them. They're eating what CNN, MSNBC, eating that stuff. Fox News is not great either, but it's what we have because we've allowed it to be good when we depend on other people to do what we're supposed to be doing. We are supposed to be teaching our children. We are supposed to be showing our youth the truth. You allowed us here. Do not let us take this country from you. Thank you for allowing us to serve you. Thank you for allowing us to live in it. Thank you for allowing us to work in it and raise our children in it. But don't let us take it from you. 65% of Hispanics vote them. Over 12 million people came in last year. Over 12 million. You're giving your country away. That's all I have to say about that. I can only speak for Hispanics because I'm a Hispanic. But you are giving your country away. And when you have people like me, want to make sure that that doesn't happen, support them. I don't need any financial support. I'm doing all What I need is for you to spread the voice. Spread the word. And I'll be here.